an ADOS dude, ADOS dude, there was an ADOS dude named Bill something. Bill the Icon. Bro, bro, bro. All the dirt and laundry. So check this out, guys. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Should make no line. Um, Bill Money tuning in for Dirty Laundry Media, and um, just wanted to ask a few questions. Um, you see here on the screen, um, Mad Maxine Waters, um, everybody's favorite auntie in Congress, um, who does nothing uh, for her black constituents. Um, this was an event I'm going to show a video of, uh, where apparently in Los Angeles, um, where there's a large black homeless population um, and by the way I found this tweet here um, on Yvette Carnell's um, twi uh, Twitter and um, where she shows Maxine Waters um, addressing some of her constituents um, who apparently showed up to an event um, to receive vouchers uh, for Section 8 and apparently um, the event uh, didn't go as planned and a lot of people were left uh, without vouchers and they were wanting answers and Maxine Waters was on site um, so um, a few of her constituents and um, community activists um, had some very direct questions for Maxine Waters which she didn't respond to very well I'm going to play the clip and I'll come back with my commentary um, but here she is, Mad Maxine Waters more section 8. Now the money that is available is for the absolute homeless yeah. under the emergency program. And that's what you started signing up for today. But because it could not be organized okay. in a way, the workers that we forced to come down here from Lhasa and place to take the applications, okay. they have put down their laptops and they are gone. There are no more applications. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Another, another location where they're taking after. Is there any more locations than this one? I really, I want everybody to go home. And I want we don't got no home. Okay. You hear that? She wants everybody to go home. Uh, how obtuse can you be? What kind of statement is that to make um, to a crowd full of people without homes uh, that you would like them to go home? People don't think before that. So yet, they pretty much know that we'll go for anything. Uh, because more than likely, um, next time she goes up uh, for re-election, she'll win by a large margin, if not a landslide. And look at her smiling. Well, she thought that was actually funny. This is egregious. I don't got no home. Okay. That's why we here. Miss Mack, can you talk? Yeah. Miss Mack, can you talk? Just a moment. Nothing is going to happen no, anymore to today. today. But I, what we got to well, that's what we got to say. Can you leave your mind? Excuse me. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. And so I will be downtown with Lassa. I will get the housing authority. That's why they came out here today. I made them come out here. You made them come out. But they didn't do their jobs. Right. And you need to know why they, they're failing. Because Blanca Jimenez repeated, we gave her several meeting requests to you concerning this in Lhasa for years. Well, and me, there's there. nobody in Washington who works for their people in the right. than I do. What is she mad about? Why should she be more angry than the people who are homeless who showed up to receive a Section 8 voucher but are leaving empty-handed? Can't make this stuff up. Okay, I believe you, so can we finish no, no, no. Work with me. No, no, no. Work with me so we can help people. She, she doesn't want to hear any criticism at all. So my suggestion is to voice your uh, displeasure at the ballot box. And she doesn't want to hear you um, face to face uh, in a crisis situation and answer your questions. Um, in a civilized manner, professional manner, show up to the ballot box and vote her out. That's gonna speak the loudest and most effectively. What do you mean you do every day? I still live on the damn streets. 
she has nothing to say about this. You know, as Yvette Carnell noted on her tweet, that black people make up 8% of Los Angeles population, but they make up 34% of its homeless. You know, completely, uh, numbers are, are completely out of whack uh, for the size of the population. And, and, and let's talk about that 8%. What happened to the black people in Los Angeles? That's for another video. If you look back on um, my video where I talked about um, the gangs in Los Angeles uh, who were, in my um, opinion, practicing um, ethnic cleansing uh, when they were attacking, you know, innocent black families, innocent black people. Um, in an attempt to terrorize them and run them out of LA. You know, that played a huge part um, besides the cost of living, um, you know, the cost of wanting to stay alive. A lot of folks left Los Angeles, you know? But here we have Maxine Waters. <laughs> And then recently you had Joe Biden saying that he he's pretty much crushed um, black childhood poverty. Um, and he's you know uh, lifted black people um, out of out of their uh, dire situations. And you know to add insult to injury, I'm gonna flip over to this article. Um, on the New York Post website. If I can get that to pop up, that'd be great. Here we go. And this is in regards to uh, a, a reporter that Maxine Waters warned uh, that they'll hurt themselves if they decide to run with this uh, Los Angeles homeless story. Um, so again, like I said, this adds insult to injury. Uh, you had a horrible event uh, where the people weren't served. Uh, you didn't have any good answers for them except to puff your chest out and say you fight every day, uh, but we don't still have any evidence of who you're fighting for. And let's just uh, keep in mind that Maxine Waters um, does have a black constituency, but her district is not majority black. Um, it's a very uh, heavy Latino population um, in her district. So... You know, she's going to bend over backwards for the Latinos, um, as we see um, every go round uh, with the Congressional Black Caucus. Uh, but I digress. So, yeah, this story here um, says uh, Rep, uh, Rep Maxine Waters, Democrat California, tried to stop the publication of a news story about Los Angeles homeless crisis this week, reportedly telling the Los Angeles Times scribe, you hurt yourself and the community trying to put this together. Uh, the Wednesday story by investigative reporter Connor Sheets detailed the March 25th incident in South Los Angeles where hundreds of homeless people tried to obtain a Section 8 housing voucher after being missed, uh, misled by social media rumors. <clears throat> and that was the clip that I just um, shared with you. The would-be applicants crashed an event held by nonprofit advocacy group Fathers and Mothers Who Care which had been meant to help the unhoused obtain emergency shelter. The confusion reportedly the confusion reportedly overwhelmed the nonprofit as well as Los Angeles Housing Services Authority, otherwise known as LASA, uh, which you heard Maxine Waters refer to um, in the video. Um, so the loss of workers who told the unexpected arrivals that they would only be able to provide their information and enter an emergency housing database. No vouchers. At one point, Waters told the crowd, I want everybody to go home, um, triggering an angry response, um, as you heard uh, from the young lady. Um, so yeah, again, they note that Waters reportedly responded by laughing um, when the woman told her that we don't have a home, you know, what home you're going to go to. And um, you saw her laughing and responding, nothing was going to happen here today. Uh, so yeah, you saw her frustration, um, being pressed, and you know, those threats, what kind of threat? What did she mean to the reporter that they were going to hurt themselves, you know? 
sounded very Hillary Clinton like even though Hillary Clinton doesn't make threats she just <laughs> so yeah um, whoever this guy is he might want to watch his back uh, Connor Sheets I'm sorry bro um, but yeah so yeah I just wanted to share this guys um, let me know what you think down in the comment section um, as always smash that like button and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel uh, please subscribe share this video um, it definitely helps the channel to grow. Uh, Mr. Man on the line, Bill Money, again, signing off. I'll see you on the other side.